What is going on, YouTube people? Neo Cards and Comics here. Um, <laughs> there was more news yesterday besides the Fanatics, Tops, NFLPA nonsense and shenanigans. I'm actually recording this video fairly quickly after that one because this was originally going to be Tuesday's video, but uh, that happened. So I'll probably post this later in the day. But there was some other news yesterday that happened. Uh, depending on what time this goes up, this card may or may not still be available. Uh, so this was this was an interesting one, especially after everything that happened uh, later yesterday in the afternoon with the NFLPA stuff. Uh, but Tops Now, Monday morning, released this card. Uh, this is up for 24 hours. Like I said, it'll probably be ending around the time this video is going up. Um, as of right now, I have not bought any of these yet. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I don't know if I'm going to grab some or not. It is... Mookie Betts and LeBron. That's right. LeBron James is on a Topps card for the first time since 2009. Uh, no, they are not flipping each other off. Uh, they are doing some sort of salute to each other. This was from the game the other day. And it, just, it feels funny now, once again, looking back at this, recording this video after the NFLPA news, that uh, we got LeBron on a Topps Now card. Uh, obviously not in an NBA uniform. I have no idea how all this works in regards to did they have to get his permission to put him on a card to sell it? Does that not the case because he's out in public? Uh, I don't really know. He's obviously not in an NBA jersey. I am no First Amendment slash licensing lawyer, so I have no idea how all this works. Uh, curious for someone in the comments below has some speculation on this. Uh, does LeBron get a cut of this? Does he not? Did he sign off on this? Does he not have to sign off on this? Don't know. Uh, like I said, I don't think I'm going to chase this one. I might. I don't know. I, maybe I'll grab a couple just in case. Uh, they're 10 bucks a card, or if you buy in bulk, you can actually get them cheaper. For me, when it comes to tops now, I want a good image, and I want a card that the player or the subject, I guess, in this case, has limited cards. So I... In one hand, the LeBron factor on this makes this an interesting little quirk. So uh, that's an interesting angle. The Mookie Betts part, uh, he's not that big of a draw when it comes to the card space. Uh, and it's not that great of an image, in my opinion. So I might take a pass on this one and let someone else take the gamble on it. The other piece of news that came out yesterday, besides this uh, top LeBron on a tops card for the first time in ever, was whatnot made some policy changes uh, and regarding breaking. Uh, they tweeted this out yesterday afternoon. The big thing here that, and, and I, listen, I've never bought into a break on whatnot in my life. So once again, comment section, feel free if you buy into a lot of whatnot breaks or are experienced with a lot of this, you know, how, how I, I can't speak to how this is going to affect uh, breakers on that platform. So once again, I kind of looked at all of you to kind of fill me in on this one little reverse. But this is the big thing that's changing this little section right here. Essentially, they are no longer, breakers are no longer allowed to offer bounties on things. So, you know, a lot of times you would see it like on release day. Hey, if someone hits a quarterback RPA, you get a free box of optic or your break spots paid, or you get 500 bucks cash or whatever the case might be. Can't do that anymore. And I know at least tangentially from afar, and once again, correct me if I'm wrong comments, that is something a lot of breakers use is a bounty or some sort of incentive of if you hit something, you are going to get a bonus they cannot do that anymore. This is very clearly laid out here. Uh, paid bounties or other sales where items purchased always carries a chance of winning an additional item or prize. For example, offering an extra box of cards if someone hits a certain type of card on a break. Uh, offering to purchase or trade for a product within a specific show. Advertising to purchase or trade for a collection or product. Uh, guest games, any game where the item purchase has a chance of activating the receipt of a prize or entry into another game of chance. For example, offering a raffle ticket to the prize makes a purchase, uh, giving a buyer a you know, duck race nonsense. Uh, but all that stuff is no longer on the table. 
so they cannot give bounties anymore. This is the really the key sentence right here at the top where the purchase of an item qualifies the buyer for a chance to win an additional items or items, entries into a game or other prizes. And then they, they roll through those examples that we gave. So like I said, I don't know, you know, is this drastically going to affect what not breakers or not? Uh, it's been interesting. You know, this is what the third or fourth platform now that we have seen kind of, I don't know if crack down is the right word, but I guess tighten the ship, tighten the belt, tighten things up a little bit, clean things up a little bit, work on some policies and procedures. Uh, we had what, TikTok, uh, not necessarily ban it, but limit it heavily. Uh, Fanatics Live came out with some, you know, more stringent rules and regulations that they had to follow. eBay just straight kicked most of the breakers off their platform and also uh, adjusted some policies and procedures around and now whatnot is adjusting some policies and procedures around once again I think this all goes back to either two things one these companies are just trying to get ahead of the game and prevent any eyes from even looking at them so a legal team somewhere has said hey we have some liability here let's go ahead and get this cleaned up at these various different companies uh, and just limit the risk that anyone even comes over here and pokes around on, is this legal? Is this not legal? Is this gambling? Is it not gambling? We don't even want to have that conversation. So let's tighten things up and, and, and prevent something from slipping through the cracks. That's one. Uh, the other side of the coin is, do all these companies know or have they kind of heard like, Hey guys, uh, someone's kind of sniffing around here. They might be coming to take a peek or they're going to declare some version of breaks gambling. So let's get our ducks in a row now. That's speculation on my point. I have no idea. Maybe it's a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Who knows? But I just find it intriguing that this is now four companies over the course of the last couple months do some type of break cleanup. Once again, each individual entity has kind of approached things differently, but I just find it kind of curious that all of a sudden, all these companies kind of want to clean up the breaking process to some degree. And when I say clean it up, I don't mean like get scammers off there, though they have been trying to get better at that. Uh, more like the legalese cleanup of the process. So found that interesting. Like I said, I am not someone that buys it. And I've never actually bought into a break in my entire life. I still have $100 in loop credit from a PSA membership that I still haven't spent. But if, let me, like I said, let me know in the comments how big of a deal this actually is. Uh, that's pretty much all I got for you guys and girls. I just kind of wanted to touch on these two things and it just got completely waylaid by the NFLPA news. Uh, once again, I am recording this after, right after that happened. So, and this is probably going to go up in the afternoon. So if something crazy happened in the NFLPA thing, I, I don't know that it happened yet. Uh, this will probably go up, like I said, Tuesday, late afternoon, early evening or something to kind of space the stuff out a little bit. And then we'll get back to regularly scheduled program uh, on Wednesday. I have another Marvel Masterpieces box that I opened and I hit an absolute monster it's probably the best card i've ever pulled in my entire life uh it is pretty big it's not like ma I mean, it's big it's not like one-on-one crazy but it's still pretty pretty up there so uh that video will be up at some point in time i don't want to promise anything because right now uh with the way that this news is coming out fast and furious and i have a feeling this is going to be uh very quickly moving on things in regards to the nflpa thing uh, there's going to be a lot of moving parts on that and probably a lot of content around that. So buckle up, buttercups. Uh, we'll catch you boys and girls on the next one. Peace.